Hey guys, it's nice to see you again. So I know you guys really liked Project Hospital. So now we are officially working with Two Point Hospital, another hospital simulator taking on the comedy side. But I kind of need to embrace the character for this. So let me quickly do something first. Dr. Death MD is here. Yeah, the reason why I'm called that is because I'm not exactly known for saving a lot of patients. So Yep, we all be doing some fun, so let's get some fun in, head straight into this, and let's start a new save. Where are my headphones? Oh, they're right here. I'm an idiot. Oh. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than 52%. when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners. Many Doesn't look really like it. Into medical school or watch DR. <laughs> if you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Just mm. infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and <laughs> Just seeing the wacky illnesses that come with this game is funny. We're building a brighter, safer future. Oh. And hardly anything will stand in our Everything's way. on fire. You deserve the best. So join us. I love that part right there, just the, You deserve the best staff, explosion. And a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. All right, we're officially here in Two Point County, where I have to be the health administrator of this town. So we're going to be heading to the first hospital, which is in Hogsport. This will be the one we're going to complete today, and then we'll move on to the next one every episode. Let's go here. Hogsport. Begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. Let's hit in. Yeah, and I will make sure that I save as many patients as I can. Please like this video if you do enjoy hospitals. Well, that's a weird comment to make. All right, first it's going to introduce me now to move the camera around, so let's first start with that. Okay, first you got to build a reception desk. It's a high priority thing. There we go. Let me move that to the middle so it's like actually accurate. There we go. We need an assistant. All right, we got Neham Dick. She's cheap. We'll work for peanuts. All right, you're hired. She wants to be cheap. It's a good idea. All right, we need the general practitioner's office. This is where people start to get diagnosed. I'm going to decorate it up a little bit just so we can get a nice office in here. Just give it some nice updates to it. Got some stuff I can unlock for some cheap kudosh. Let me quickly go through and unlock some of this stuff. There we go. There, nice GP office. Now we need to hire a doctor. All right, let's see here. Doctors. Let's see here, we got tires easily, so she's lazy. Uh, we got Ned Squirm here. He's inspiring in a heartthrob, but has toilet rage. And then we got Jess here. Cheap and a healer. Increase the health of patients. You're hired. All right, well, spells open for business. Okay, I can zoom in. Rotate the camera. And pitch the camera. All right, let me first get the bench. Get some benches out here so we can have people wait for the hospital. Leaf it, stand, and a plant. Just get the basic starter kit. Now we just wait for our first patient. Oh, look, here we go. We got uh, Gertrude Vinegar here. Let's learn about her. All right, she's getting called to the GP office. Let's speed up some time. All right, she's been diagnosed. So we got pharmacy required. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective. Unlike earlier times, when it had to be dug out painfully with the screwdriver. The patient is seeking treatment and will need a pharmacy to treat in order to treat them. Complete more objectives down like the pharmacy. What would you like to do? Get patient to wait. You need to get a pharmacy. Let's put it on the other side. Get this complicated machinery. We also gonna need a fire extinguisher in here in case anything happens. All right, now we need a nurse. We got litterer, class clown, entertainer, and healer. Heals patients. Let's get him. We'll get some benches on this side too, so that way people can wait. We're also going to need food and drink because patients are going to get hungry and thirsty while in the hospital. So I'm going to go ahead and supply that. Might as well unlock some of this stuff while we're here. Ooh, a cake stand. You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth. So Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. 
I can do his voice pretty well, huh? <laughs> Your favorite radio stations. <laughs> patient cured. Hospital reputation increases with each patient successfully cured, but decreases when a treatment fails or if a patient dies. A higher reputation attracts more patients and better staff for hire. Imagine hearing that in the hospital. <laughs> you were the very first patient that got cured. Okay, we do need the janitor, so let's hire one. Inspiring. Inspires other people. Hangry, entertainer, and charming. So let's go with this one. You're hired, and we need to place another extinguisher. Okay, now our patient cured. We're doing good as a hospital. Got everything that's needed. And item controls. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, well, just wait for our next goal to come in. Hopefully we can get some more rooms to help make this a better hospital. Staff energy and breaks. We need a staff room. Let's go ahead and get that. Let's see what else we can get in the staff room. How about let's get a hat stand? And some plant. And let's get them something fun. We need something to regain their fun. So let's see here. We got a retro chair. We got a retro TV. I don't need a TV. I need something like... Something that gives off fun. Entertaining cabinet. Statue. We got plenty of statues. But I'm looking for... Isn't there, like, something fun in here? Let me see here. Got some more statue stuff. Got a gramophone. Thrill ride. Vaulting box. Lung capacitor. Oh, a trampoline. That'll work perfectly. Let's give him something fun like a trampoline. Now the staff has somewhere to rest. Okay, build toilets. So now we need to get a bathroom in the building, which is no issue. Let's get it down here. Just install some toilets. Get some sinks. Get an air dryer. There we go. Alright, let's see here. Get janitors will empty the bins. That's good. Good news, we cured five patients in total. Further diagnosis. We're hearing reports of new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room if the GP isn't certain. They will send the patient to further diagnosis. We need general diagnosis. Nature communes. I, I love that that we get news reports about everything from Two Point Radio. Yeah, I get a nice plant. Get a bin in there. All right, let's go ahead and get in our nurse. Ooh, this one's also specializes in general diagnosis. New illness discovered. Clamp. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Clamp. Once this grips a patient, it doesn't let go. Afflicts many living statues and selfie-taking chumps. Oh boy. We'll send a patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Wow, we discovered a new illness already. Is that what you have? Oh no, you're going to get further di diagnosis. You had plant. Okay, we have to cure two patients. That doesn't sound too hard. Let's go ahead and speed up time and let them go. It just rained near my house here, so I guess that's something interesting. But right now, we're doing really good as a hospital. Like, we're getting a lot of patients cured. Alright, so here we got new illness discovered. Misery guts. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to nihilistic semicolon. Semicolon? <laughs> we'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Ward unlocked. We're gonna need a ward. Quality of treatment may depend upon patient behavior. Like I said, funny announcements on the PA. Alright, let's get the desk. We gotta get changing rooms. I just heard our first patient didn't get cured. Ooh. Sorry, sir! <laughs> we'll do better next time, I promise. If there is a next time. Oh boy. So is there anything else we can add? I think we got everything we need. Well, let's unlock the bedside table. Just so we can have that near a couple of the beds. Get those closer to the wall. Might as well get some windows. There we go, we got a ward. Wards are treated as two departments. It is both a diagnostic and a treatment department. Let's see here. Hygienic, only human. You'll work in diagnosis. Okay, we need to hire two doctors and I have a second GP office. So let me go ahead and get in our GP office. Sir Nigel Bickleworth is talking about food this time around. I do love Sir Nigel Bickleworth. He is he's a fun character they made for this game. Let's hire a new doctor. Well, this one's got what's this one's got? Boring, romantic, inspiring. 
I think we should hire you since you have better odds. We unlock the Deluxe Clinic. What does it say? Kudash. By completing objectives and challenges, our organization earns Kudash. We can use this to gain access to new items. Take a look at the items list. Any item with a padlock can be unlocked by using K. Best of all, we can purchase then purchase that item in any of our hospitals. Use it wisely. Okay, cure three patients of lightheadedness. Oh boy, and wait till you guys see what lightheadedness is. You may, it may sound normal, but trust me, it's far from that. Oh, and speaking of which, here's our first patient. Okay, we got a new illness discovered, bed face. A quite alarming condition, contortion of the face, caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. Must be treated in ward. This is lightheadedness. These patients, sadly, have a light bulb for a head. Easy treatment, though. They just need to... Uh, you'll see the equipment we use to help get that taken care of. First off, let's get some new sitting area. Get very attractive in here. Alright, while they wait, let me go ahead and get the Deluxe Clinic built. Because this will be how we remove the atrocity that is a light bulb for a head. Okay, we should be able to cure a patient of lightheadedness now. Now we have an actual sector for that. Okay, let's go ahead and get a doctor. I also need a new janitor. Let's get a ghost capture janitor. Ah, oh, they're a litterer. Nasty. This guy is good. You're hired. Then we need another doctor. Oh, look how special this guy is. Hey, let's see here. Thinks his life is a wrong com. Hygienic. Isn't the same anymore. <laughs> new illness. Lightheadedness discovered. Lightheaded patients are notable due to their bulbous heads. Must be treated in our deluxe clinic. Hey! Hey you! Go back in there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we gotta cure three patients of lightheadedness. Poor condition. We'll get them figured out. See, we have to remove the light bulb. There we go. Drop that off. Then we have to make a 3D projection of their head. And just plop back on. And plop. Here comes our next patient. Welcome, sir. Please have a seat in our lab. I just... Our first patient is dead. There we go. Get that all taken care of. Alrighty. So where's that patient that just died? I told you. I told you. I have issues with patients. I get a lot of problems. Do we have a ghost hunting, doc? Ghost hunting? We officially have a ghost in the hospital. Patient death. Sad news. Our first patient death. Patients can die if a treatment fails or if they waited too long and their health deteriorates. The hospital reputation will suffer as a result. There also is a chance that the patient will return to haunt the hospital. If this happens, we need a janitor with the ghost capture qualification. A janitor, can you come take care of this ghost, please? Yeah, vacuum it up. It was a say. Bogworts discovered. A rare disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs. Carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. Let's try the pharmacy, please. We're barely making a profit. Oh, and our patient cured. Sad that we lost our first patient. I, I told you, I have issues with this. But don't worry, we'll get you all cured up and ready to go home. Let's see here. Gotta get two benches in here. Okay, Janner's on break. Alright, where's our lightheadedness patient? Gregory Fossil. Don't worry, Gregory. There's a doctor in the room right now. Our hospital reputation is now good. Oh, now even more patients will come. Good. Okay, sir. Just have a seat up there and we'll get your lightheadedness fixed. Come on, let's get him cured. There's his head. Feel better, sir? And we got our first letter. All right, it says, Dear Hospital Administrator, One Star Hospital, Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star ring that's one out of a possible three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I have retrieved your file from the bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport or further esteem the trinkets if you believe you are capable of more. Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand our organization by opening a new hospital in the Lower Bullocks. The choice, as they say, is yours. Yours, frankly, Tranquin Foxbridge Health Minister. 
Alrighty, so now we have to cure 25 patients and earn $200,000. Well, that should be hopefully easy to do. I mean, we are a hospital. We, we cure patients for a living, so... I mean, it should be easy to do. Let's go ahead and get a new sitting area. Bungle Rocket Watch. That sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen. Let's keep expanding the hospital. Get some more areas. There we go. Get that all installed. Some new windows. We'll get a new ward over here. Let's go. This one's four wide, so we have space for beds on both sides. Let's go ahead and get some lockers. Help stick their stuff in there. Okay, now we got some kudosh. Let me see if I can get the heart monitor. Just so we can stick those up on the walls. I want to be able to monitor the hearts of our patients. Get a nice picture to hang on the wall. And a bed. They cure 20 patients in total. There we go, and larger ward. Oh, this guy has ward management. They're positive, meaning they're more likely to be happy. Okay, let's go ahead and set his job. Can I see your staff file for a minute? All right, I want you to work in the ward. I want you guys to work in... You guys can work everywhere else. Actually, you guys can work in the ward. I'll allow it. Doctors, everybody's pretty much good, so we don't want to worry about anything about that. Um, you guys can pretty much do everything, so there's not much need there. Everybody's doing pretty well. And we got a new department, new ward in the hospital. And there are patient cured. I'm going to go ahead and speed up time here so we can get some more patients in. We don't have too many janitors. We have just enough. There we go. Everybody's getting to where they need to go. I hope that nurse doesn't let the patients line up. Another dead patient. Really? Killed another patient. I. We need to be careful on that. Keep the patients alive and healthy. Another patient cured. We also have a good reputation, so that's wonderful. We need to get this hospital to level six. Shortage of humility. I will do one to proper enunciation as well, but I fear your underdeveloped vocal abilities would make this quite impossible. Oh, we're at level six. That's good. Means we're growing as a hospital. Okay, we could probably use some benches out here. Let's get a cheese waters statue. So some cheesy gubbins and some burp soda over there. How's it going in here in our new staff room? Oh boy. Lightheadedness emergency. Cure seven patients with lightheadedness. There's been an outbreak of lightheadedness in the area. And, understandably, most of the sufferers would like their heads back. There's a group looking for treatment now. You will be rewarded if you treat this group. Should we have them sent here? Send the patients. Alright. They're coming out of the ambulance. Where else are they? I only see two patients. Let's count how many come out of this car. One! Two. There's no longer a driver. Three. Four. Four people out of that car. We also got head crabness. Crabness. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Head crabness. The sufferer's head has been seized by a rare form of parasitic crustacean. Fortunately, a treatment is available that wrenches the creature from the victim, leaving their head healthy and uninfested. Yeah, this guy has a crab for a head. We need to rip that thing off. Alright, everybody have a seat. The doctor will see you soon. Okay, we just need to get all these people cured. Oh, we're about to get our reward ceremony. Wonder how we did this year. Definitely the no death award isn't going to us. Open all. We won doctor of the year, nurse of the year, employer of the year, and most prestigious hospital. We, however, did not win the year of no deaths. Yeah, fix up the deluxe clinic machine. We need to have more patients cured. Another patient cured. Alright, two patients cured. Let's get another in. So yeah, we get the crustacean off the head once we get to that patient. Right now, we're at a pretty good amount of patients cured. If it makes you feel better, we earn more money for cured patients than dead patients. I hear a lot of cured. I'll show you guys how we get this crustacean off the head. We basically just gotta rip it off. Rip it off the head! There we go. Patient cured. How you guys think? Do you guys like this? I really like this game. I'm, I'm happy to see people are interested in medical simulators by me, which I will continue to do if you guys love these. Let's go ahead and get that fixed. Another patient cured. One more patient to go. Please have a seat and wait for the doctor to be ready.
Remove the light bulb. All right, we've earned it. Dear Hospital Administrator, Two-Star Hospital, congratulations, your hospital has been rewarded with a two-star rating by the Two-Point Health Ministry. If you proceed to, at your current pace, you will have achieved everything that you can in founding establishment soon enough. I can sense your confidence inflating. Be careful that you don't build yourself up for an even greater fall. It's yours, frankly, Tanquin Foxbridge Health Minister. I don't think we're setting ourselves up for it. Okay, now we got to cure 30 patients. Have a hospital value of... Wow. We have a hospital administrator visiting soon. Since we're getting a lot of patients for the deluxe clinic, I'm going to go ahead and build us a second one. And get some more staff members. All right. Who died this time? Act the less dead. I don't want the health inspector to see. Just gotta get this place set up for another light head in this room. Go ahead and get another assistant. Everybody has a short temper. I don't want to see those candidates. I want to see good candidates. Okay, there we go. Get that taken care of. Hospital value is going up, so that's good. I hope the health inspector likes our hospital. We've been working very hard on it. We have cured 50 patients. Right now, the health inspector looks like he's enjoying his time at our hospital. Where's the toilet? How do people flush this toilet? Oh, there's a cord. I was wondering about that. Is that water up in the top? Now the toilet's overflowing, right? We're good. Alright, let's go ahead and get the doctor in. Stupid and tireless fast learner. You're hired. The background band. That's funny. Alright, get the doctor in. Crustacean removed. $8,000. Have a nice day, ma'am. Alright, figure out what's wrong with her. She just needs to go to the ward. There we go. We're doing great with patients. Another patient cured. All right, health inspector passed. Thank goodness. And a lot of patients are getting cured. Good to see, good to see. I mean, we're a good hospital. I mean, we're doing everything we can. Might have to get a new GP office soon. Patient uncured. Oh, man. Sorry, ma'am. But you could get out if you feel like it. That came off a lot more mean than it was supposed to. Why did I say it like that? Okay, we got our first... Oh, ward emergency. I'll take in all the patients. Let me get another nurse. We're gonna need some nurses running some of these wards. Is everybody coming? Yep, a lot of people are coming. Everybody gets where they need to go. Are a couple coming off the bus? Yep. We have to cure five patients. They all have arrived at the hospital. Oh, wait, one more. Got one straggler. All right, everybody's in the wait in their bedrooms. Everybody, please have a seat and wait for it to be cured. Diagnosis is doing well. Everybody have a place to lay down. Everybody's feeling comfortable in the hospital. Don't okay. First patient cured. Second patient cured. Another patient cured. Let's see how these guys do. Doing well with cured patients. Our hospitals. We're now a great reputation hospital. There we go. Four out of the five patients cured. All patients cured. Would you look at that? Another ambulance arriving. Everybody's doing so well now. We're having such a good hospital. And it's very profitable too. Like, we're both curing and pr making a profit. Man, we made $56,000 in last year's profit. Well, last month. But that's beside the point. Oh boy, people are waiting. Can you give them where they're going to go? It's nice to see that they're watering all the plants, too. Okay, we have enough patients cured. Now we just need to earn enough money. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you guys want me to keep up with the medical games. Because I really like playing medical games, and they're really fun. There's also a second game to this, Two Point Campus, which I will play once we finish up this one. Which this one will take a while before we get there, but just saying that right now. Alright, who died? Seriously, again? These hands... These hands know no bounds. Why? Nerd death patient. We have anybody who can take care of that, please? Janitor. Can you take care of that? Why are so many people in the staff room right now? Everybody's dying. Why? What's going on? Why is everybody dying? This is ridiculous. You, why did you die? Get rid of him. 
Thank you. All right, promotion. Yeah, you can promote him. This is ridiculous. I have to deal with so much as a doctor. I can't be losing patients. This isn't how a hospital works. I made the joke about Dr. Death, even though it is completely true. We just need to cure a few more patients. Another patient death. Why? Why are you dying now? Treatment failure. Okay, what's your ratio here? Okay, so far you've had three quarters of patients cured. Do we have pharmacy emergency? I got patients arriving for the pharmacy. We're gonna need those taken care of. And we've done it. Three star hospital. Dear hospital administrator, three star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a three star rating by the two point health ministry. I hope for your sake you that you remember how you were able to con concoct such a model institution. Because the county will expect you to repeat this feature ad infinima, infinitum. May this pre your of gumption and fill you with nerves. Yours, frankly, Tranquin Foxbridge, Health Minister. We also unlocked the news agent. Rise and shine, everyone. And if you happen to be in Lower Bullocks this morning, watch out for the gathering of druids down the Grog Bend's ring. In a total coincidence, the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today. Should all work out nicely. Now we got the lower bullocks, which we'll do next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Please like this video so more people can see it. And subscribe to my channel if you are new. I do all kinds of gaming videos, but I also have an art channel, Garrett Kelson, where I focus solely on simming. And that's very popular content by me. You can also follow all my social medias down below. I have my Facebook, Instagram, Discord, and my Twitch, where I all do things there separately, which you can all check out too. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!